Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and I am gonna be doing a bit of a tutorial today that I've been wanting to teach you guys for a long time and it is all about dodging and burning. Now, I don't know how many of you guys actually use the skill of dodging and burning, but essentially what it is is you're adding light to certain areas that you want to add light to and you are taking away light burning from things that you don't wanna see. But mostly what I use it for because I'm a car photographer is to actually show off either the details that I want to see using dodging or burning, showing off the maybe more aggressive lines of the car. Now, of course, this is a skill that can be utilized no matter what type of photography you do, whether it's landscape or humans, whatever you wanna shoot for. But in this particular video, I'm gonna show you guys where I particularly dodge and burn. I'm gonna show you kind of highlight the areas I would and then show you practically how I would do that in Lightroom. And then later on, I'll show you how to do it in Photoshop in a different video. So I'll show you here with this Mercedes-Benz uh, where I would dodge and burn. Yellow is gonna be our dodge adding light and let's say blue is going to be our burn don't judge the writing folks all right so so what i'm trying to do here is draw attention to details so where i would typically dodge would obviously be kind of here over the grill we really want to bring out the detail on the grill i'm going to make this a little smaller i want to bring out these cool subtle details on the bottom Obviously where there's light, we're trying to accentuate where the light's kind of flaring off here. We can see it coming off kind of this front lip bumper, which is really cool. I do tend to dive into the headlights a little bit and focus on these like little details. And then if you can, if you've got these daytime running lights that are cool, you can focus on those as well. An obvious thing that we want to dodge in is the wheels. Now you can get as particular with these wheels as you want, you know, like you can, you can dive right in Let's get yellow and actually go spoke by spoke. I don't do this, so you don't actually have to get that intense. I typically will go over the whole wheel and just kind of be like general with it. You just never really want to overdo it. So if you're overcooking it and you're over dodging it, which we'll get into a little bit later, then you maybe need to pull it back a little bit. But I don't have to go too careful. Even getting the discs back there is okay. I tend to get the rubber, because sometimes if they're really clean tires, you can kind of get the details of like, I don't know, the Dunlop tire or something like that. So then following up here, I'm gonna be dodging in here to pull out the details. I'm gonna be following the light here. And as well, you definitely wanna go over the hips here. This is a very big, important part of the car. And then especially when you get near the rear, like on Porsches specifically, you want to really accentuate the hips there with the actual, the burning. I always tend to pull out the mirrors. They tend to be dark in photos. So let's pull those out and not be too particular about it. We're just going to draw a light and make those kind of feel alive. If you can see the interior of the car, feel free to pull out details where you can see the light because this just adds more dynamic range, adds a more dynamic photo. Of course, we're going to do the back rim as well to taste. There's a little bit on the front grille here that we want to get to as well, just to pull out the cool details on the car. All right, so then we're going to get to the hood and we're just going to follow the natural lines of the hood. So if you can see light kind of spilling over it, we're just going to naturally follow that light. Same here. And this is getting a bit extra, but you know, that's what we do. I'd say this is a pretty good general idea of where I would dodge, add light. Now let's go into where we're gonna take away light or add muscle. So there's a lot of kind of darker details in here that I would go into. Depending on what's happening in the grill, I'd take that away. And I'm not trying to take it away so that it's black. I'm just trying to take it away so it looks a bit more aggressive. We're adding contrast between the highlights and the low lights to make it feel more, I don't know, aggressive in car photography specifically. So we're gonna come up to the hood. We're gonna follow this line here just to make it aggressive. We're gonna follow this light here. Where else do we have aggressive lines? Sometimes around the wheel wells, we've got aggressive lines. You can see it's aggressive here. And of course, down the side, underneath that light there is a really nice place. And then depending on how tasteful or how the light's falling, be really subtle with how you do it there as well. So there's a really quick example of how I would dodge and burn this car. Now, how do I actually practically do this in Lightroom. So let's go over to Lightroom. This is a photo I took of this car on my cell phone uh, and I edited it just using one of my fall presets here. Uh, I think I used fall B. So I put on fall B. We adjust the exposure just a little bit. 
then I'm gonna go in and put my fall filters on. So it just adds a bit of a tension to the car. So it works in sync with one another. So there's the before and after. So we're just gonna go into our adjustment layers here. And this is coming in a bit too dark. So I'm gonna get rid of that, I think. I'm gonna make sure that this is over top of the car. And this is just drawing attention and bringing our eyes back to the vehicle. This one here, we've got a nice little light burst in our radial filter, just kind of adding some shape back to the photo just because it's a bit of a flat photo. So once you have your base layer set exactly how you want it, you're gonna go into your selective adjustments. We're gonna hit the plus button and we're gonna hit the brush layer. So we're just gonna hit that brush and we're gonna tap our light and we're gonna add exposure. Now the cool thing about this is as you drag that light meter, you can actually see how it's gonna affect your photo. Now, don't worry, it's not affecting our photo permanently. It's just showing us what's gonna happen when we start to brush it. So when I'm adjusting this, I'm looking at the details of the car that I want to bring out. So I'm looking at the rims, uh, the front grille, I know I wanna bring out those details. So I think adding about a stop, you can see it's a plus one there, that's adding a stop of light. So I'm happy there. I'm gonna adjust my brush size to make sure we're not doing anything too crazy. And I'm just gonna start painting in on the rims here. Let's just zoom in here, how it makes a difference. It's very subtle and I think the important thing with dodging and burning is to be as subtle as you can. Uh, I don't like, and I don't know what about you guys, I'm not a big fan of when rims are just coming popping out of the photo, unless they're like chrome rims and supposed to be like that. I like when it's bright and brought out the detail, but it's not drawing too much attention away from the whole of the car. So that's my goal when I'm dodging. So you go through there, we can do the back real quick. We're not pulling up too much. It's very, very subtle, but hopefully we can do a before and after. Let's focus on some of the details here on the livery. And even after the fact, like I can press this button here, you can see where I'm painting. The cool thing about being in Lightroom is that after the fact, you can go in and adjust these if it's not quite bright enough. You can adjust it in post. So we're just gonna keep brushing this in. Now because this was shot on iPhone, there's not gonna be as much dynamic range as you might get from, I don't know, a DSLR camera or something like that. But what this is trying to show you is just where you can dodge and burn, should dodge and burn using Lightroom Mobile and how even on your iPhone and Lightroom Mobile, you can actually make really, really cool pictures. So let's burn some of these things away too and add a bit of aggression to the car now. So now let's burn away some details and add a bit of aggression to the car. Now I always find in Lightroom Mobile, before you zoom in, you have to kind of brush somewhere first, otherwise it's gonna just like assume you wanna, I don't know, brush away. So just find a spot you wanna start at, brush it in, and then you can zoom in, and that'll save you a world of trouble. And the door panel's pretty reflective, so I'm gonna get in there and just kind of bring that down a little bit, add some aggression to the side of the car. Obviously I'm not being super intentional here. So there you go guys, there's the before and the after. And you can just take a look at those really specific places that we painted in and it's really bringing out the detail. Now remember, this is shot on iPhone, edited on Lightroom Mobile, and you can create some pretty cool stuff. And I think once you posted this to, let's say Instagram or something, not too many people are gonna be really nitpicky about it. Uh, as long as it's a cool setting, cool car, good photo, do your best to get good composition and go from there. So there you go guys, that is a really quick tutorial. I do hope that you found it helpful with knowing maybe where to dodge and burn. And I think the key here is be really subtle with your adjustments. I think in Lightroom you have the ability to paint it in and then add that light. You can obviously make as many adjustments as you want. Like so take a brush and just do the wheels, just adjust the wheels, you can do that. And then do just the hood, just adjust the hood. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use the brush tool. It's super diverse. Obviously you can use radial filters. You can use other filters to make your car pop out. And you'll see that in a lot of my other videos, which I'm sure I'll post up here for you guys. If you guys enjoy this type of automotive photography, I have started a Patreon channel where we are having a very tight knit community of people that I answer their questions. We're doing editing challenges over there. So I'll drop a raw photo, they'll edit it. And you guys will see them on my Instagram. And on that note, come check me out on Instagram. If you're interested in automotive photography, I love building the community and having conversations 
engagement with you guys over there with like how, how you guys take photos, how you love to edit. There's so much conversation happening in the comments and I'm learning things every day. So come check it out. Come be a part of the community on Patreon. But otherwise guys, I do hope that you found this valuable or slightly entertaining at least. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. It means a lot to me in the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video and subscribe if you want more content like this because I'm just really enjoying hanging out with you guys. So thanks so much and we will see you in the next video guys. Peace.